Hi, uh, this video is um, for pagans concerning Jesus. Um, a while back I, I met a pagan and he had a couple of um, tattoos on his neck just here, looked like sixes, and um, I said to him, what are those on your neck? And he said, um, they're to do with my religion. And I said, what, what, what's that? And he said he was a pagan and so forth. Now, he, he looked desperately unwell. He was um, pretty jaundiced, very thin, and, and he did actually look troubled as well. Um, so we discussed his religion and we discussed my religion, um, which is Christianity. And um, I listened to him, he listened to me. Within three quarters of an hour, he had accepted prayer to Jesus Christ. Now, the thing is this. He saw reason in what I said to him because he was calling upon his God to help him. Um, during his time of trouble and no help was coming things were getting worse and worse all the time for him and I said to him look you know if if your God is real he would be your father because he made you and as your father he would love you and therefore he would help you um, he started to agree with me on that and at that stage I said to him look you know if Let's just say for a moment that you're wrong. Let's say that Jesus Christ is real. Ask yourself a question. If Jesus Christ really is all these things that are being claimed by him and have been claimed uh, for him and by him um, for, for 2,000 years or so, um, shouldn't I be looking to him for help? What if he really is God? Shouldn't I at least ask? And um, so I, I said to him, look, just, just ask God in your own heart. You know, Jesus, look, if you're real, I, I want to know you. And he allowed me to pray for him. I prayed for him, and um, he came back um, a week later to see me. And he looked healthy. And the problems in his life had started to disappear. He had an intense hatred of women because of, um, of failed relationships. And he'd forgiven that. He no longer hated women either. And he was standing there saying to me, can, can you feel it? Can you feel it? Um, what he was talking about was the Holy Spirit just living in his body so powerfully and, and wonderfully. And I said to him, yes. I do feel it. That's what I was trying to tell you when I first met you. And it's a story for, for people um, who are pagans. Um, at least ask Jesus. Jesus, if I've made a mistake, if you are real, I want to know you. Just ask. 